Hi, I have a 2003 Honda Civic Hybrid, and uh, it has about 171,000 miles on it. There's a battery drain problem that I have not been able to figure out, and on these older cars I understand that that's a common problem, and I decided to do a kill switch, and decided to go with the type that one side connects to your battery, and then there's an insulator, and then the other side connects to your car's negative or ground side. And I decided to put the switch inside the car in a small compartment that's really never been used. So the way this works is that this side attaches to the battery, and then I did drill a 5 16th inch hole through this side of the connector, and then connected this cable which runs into the car, and then the other side, I just drilled the 5 16 hole through the center of this post and then did the connection for the other side of the switch here. Now, this is very solid right now. Uh, however, I'll just carry a half inch wrench inside the car and if I needed to jump, I can just loosen this up enough so that I can make the connection. One thing about the insulator that runs between these two connectors was sitting up above the battery so it was a little bit sloppy and I put about a quarter inch piece of plexiglass on the bottom of that so that it was flush against the battery base. Then you can see where the cables come out of the battery compartment there. They're running along here and, and basically I just used some aluminum tubing which you can see here and just use lock washers on these so they're very stable up there and both uh, cables fit through there and then on the other side it's the same thing there's a connector up above that's going to keep those stable and then the cables are just running through a couple of openings that were already in the car they're pretty tight right now but i'll seal those with silicone and so that made that fairly easy and these are five foot cables so they just made the distance that i needed then inside the car these are the cables that are coming through and this is the module that i'm going to connect up it was just a little key compartment that's never really been used and then this is the switch so that's on and then that's off and and so these are the connectors that I decided to use and they fit on like this and then they'll clamp down the cables and then I'll put a piece of plexiglass over this which will give it a little bit of an insulator in case somebody's reaching back there. You need to remove the film on the wires with a stainless steel brush because there is a coating on these wires and they say that you should brush that so it makes a better connection. So I'll have to torque this to the manufacturer's specification. And I just have the Wheeler FAT wrench which you simply pull out and turn, and then the dial will show you when you've reached whatever torque you want. So I will torque these and then show these with the cover on once that's finished. Here's the plexiglass hooked on. Now I just need to hook up the cable connectors. So there's the switch assembly and you can see those large bolts that they have with this switch. So then this can close up the plexiglass is right up above there. And I'll just screw this in. Then the switch can be turned on or off real easily. So right now it's off and we'll go take a look at the resistance. So we have the multimeter hooked up. It's open. I'll turn the switch. Up. So you can see that that's 0 0.001 on this particular meter. You know, there's going to be some resistance drop across all these connections. So I think that should work. So now for the switch test. Uh, the switch is currently in the off position. Turn the key on. No accessories or anything like that. And if I turn the switch on, 
accessories are on and the car starts. Turn it back off. No power. So for me, I think this situation will work quite well. <laughs> One just needs to remember, of course, to use the switch. But that's why I thought being inside, I think I can see that red switch down there and it'll remind me and I'll get into the habit. I have a drain on this car and I did the amperage test, which there are some good videos on YouTube that show you how to do that. But you essentially hook your meter on 10 amps between the battery negative and the car wiring negative and then you can see the amperage that's being pulled with your key off and still there's a draw. I just could not figure it out and to get into an old car like this especially since it was an intermittent problem uh, makes it very difficult so the videos on YouTube and in reading articles just for old cars it, it helps to put in a kill switch. They have ones with handles that you pull out, and that seems really good. It could be left in the car, I guess, but I felt that I would have an issue with putting that somewhere where I couldn't remember where it was. So I decided to just make it a more hard-wired contact, and um, I think this will work good for me. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please click the link below. If this video was helpful, please give it a like. Thanks.